Okay. I'm liking this reading. Okay. So what I'm seeing is right now, Scorpio, you're in a full-blown manifestation mode, okay? You've manifested something or you're wanting to manifest something, okay? Whatever it is, I feel that there was a lack of forward moment in the past here, okay? They could have been cut in communication between you and the person you're dealing with. Could be an online relationship or there was just a lack of forward moment, okay? There was a lack of progression in a relationship or a connection. And someone walked away because there was a lot of mind games playing being played okay there was a lot of mind fuckery a lot of mind games being played someone was just being nasty and there were a lot of uh, there was a lot of ego involved in a situation and someone walked away and now there is this manifestation which is coming into reality all right we'll see what you've manifested Scorpio. However, first of all, um, in the current situation, what is happening is right now is that I'm feeling that um, there is, there was, there is, whatever, take it how it resonates, but uh, there's a situation here, there's a love connection here, almost like a huge disappointment in love is what I'm hearing, okay, and you probably are deciding to cut someone off or you want to cut someone off, okay, uh, it's like an opportunity that um it's like um there's a lack of self-love here okay you probably kept doing what what made others happy or you kept doing things that made the other person happy okay but now it's like for me i feel there's a lack of a new beginning here in love because you're not feeling convinced okay that a relationship that you once thought had a lot of potential is going to work out anymore okay uh, you could also be healing uh, from a breakup or a situation okay but um i'm feeling that right now yes you could be healing i'm not getting um there was a disappointing situation but you're healing from that situation you haven't completely recovered fully to restart or have a renewal or a re-beginning in love no is that even a word or have a beginning a new beginning in love or a renewal in love is what i'm getting okay what's crossing is is clarity you are not clear in your head i think you need to have clear cut communication and you need to clear the air is what i'm getting okay there needs to be truthful communication and that's what's the biggest challenge out here there is a lack of communication here does not have to be i'm not literally getting silent treatment silent treatment i'm getting where there is just no clarity you just don't know where this relationship is going and that's why you're emotionally shut down maybe this was a situation which was a disappointment in the past and that's why you walked away okay and um could be a very codependent relationship okay maybe you almost wanted to be in a relationship with this person or you were and you were very clingy and needy and you didn't realize your self-worth and self-esteem okay you didn't value yourself enough and uh, you realize that you love this person more than you love yourself and you needed to practice self-love okay is what i'm getting that's why you're healing from that situation i'm getting more like a realization okay However, you need to have clear-cut communication. I'm getting you need to be very clear about what you want and where this relationship is heading. And if this person wants to come in, then how is it going to be like is what I'm getting. On your mind, you're fed up. Okay, you're fed up. Look, I have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Okay, this is a divine couple here. This is a divine connection. So what I'm getting is, uh, the good thing is that you're both in your great elements. Okay, you're both you, you both have the right attitude towards this relationship okay it's like yeah we're not fucking around we mean business here that's good but there is a lack of a new beginning here is because one person is almost fed up on your mind you're fed up you want this communication but the other person is not ready to have that clear conversation with you is what i'm getting that's the biggest immediate challenge here is what i'm getting okay the reason for the reading is that someone is a either there's someone here who's stuck in their ways or there's someone here who's uh, there could have been a huge break between you guys is what i'm getting a huge break someone could have just gone into their shell and there could have been a lot of thinking 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 about the situation okay there was a period of no action between you guys but now i feel that there's someone here who's ready to come out of that stagnation mode someone could have put you on hold for a very long time but now they're releasing that and uh they're really ready to come in and take action something is no so there's something there's a situation which is no more on hold okay 
where you could be dealing with someone who's very stuck in their ways, okay, or unwilling to see things from a different point of view. But it could be also someone who's coming out of a pause, okay? There could have been a big pause between you guys and now there's someone here who's ready to take action, okay? Could be anyways, take how it resonates. In the past, there was a breakup, okay? This is almost like an ending of a soulmate contract, the end of the road, or this was just a disconnection, okay? You could be dealing with someone who had a fear of commitment in the past or someone who's just not ready to make a choice, okay? The lovers is, a, is quite a difficult choice, okay? It's making a choice, which is a life-making, life-changing decision, okay? A very significant life-changing choice, and they refuse to make a choice. Could be between two people, it doesn't have to be, but it just could be just making unpleasant choices between two very, very um, difficult options, okay? So someone refused to choose uh, or make a decision. However, okay, I think because you walked away in the past year, okay, now this person is hell-bent on making things happen. I feel that this person has realized what they want and after this period of enlightenment, okay, this person has realized what they want and they've had this period of enlightenment. Now they're ready to take action and they're coming in. They're coming in to take action, okay? We have the king of wands here. The king of wands is super determined, okay? He is the action king, all right? He does what he wants and he does when he wants, okay? He takes a stand about something and do it. Is he dead serious about it? All right. This is someone very strong and very confident. Okay. Someone very excited about life and he knows the opportunities and power. All right. This is someone who's wanting to invest into something that will grow. All right. They're not backing down at all. So that's good news for you, Scorpio. Could be you, could be them. Take how it resonates. But someone's getting ready to take action. All right. They're taking charge, execution. This is someone super hot, brave, bold, handsome whatever have you but they're very attractive there's a very strong attraction towards you or you're attracted very strongly towards them okay i feel by the time this person comes in and takes action right you're giving up you're done you're giving up is what i'm getting because you this was a very disappointing situation in the past okay i'm getting that probably you're like you know what it's going to be the same shit again i don't want to repeat the same negative patterns again because look at you you're like fed up you're like no nonsense no bullshit okay you're like if i don't hear or if this time i don't get what i like if i don't hear what i like i'm cutting your head the fuck off is what you're getting and that is the issue here that this person is not giving you that clear communication although they want to but it's a challenge they want to okay but it's a challenge here so, but they're manifesting you back. That's for sure. They're manifesting you back for sure. So don't be surprised. I mean, don't be surprised if this person just comes in towards you, okay, wanting to take action. But you're giving up. It's like, you know, you could have like wanted to fight for this connection for a very long time. But you're giving up is what I'm getting. But this person definitely is wanting to give in a lot. They want equal give and take. But they now realize that this was a one-sided situation. And now they want to put in the effort, okay? They want an equal give and take. They want an equal exchange of whatever you wanted. Communication, emotions, uh, investment, anything, okay? They realize that something was very one-sided. They, they probably felt that they took advantage of you and they shouldn't have. They took you for granted, okay? Uh, but now they're wanting to give and receive. They want balance, okay? And uh, it's like um, they want to bring balance within the relationship, okay? And um, yeah, this is a lot of reciprocity is what I'm getting. They're coming in with that. But you... My friend, I feel you realize your worth. And, and this is all, again, a happening is because you realize your self-worth. You realize your value, okay? You realize that you're the queen, okay? And no one messes with the queen, okay? You, you, you're being extremely practical, okay? Very grounded. I'm hearing you're putting healthy boundaries. So when you were uh, in that... Um, on your mind, when you're in the Queen of Swords, I feel you're putting in healthy boundaries. You probably, this person could have crossed boundaries. This person probably felt, you know what? You just let this person come in and out of your life. This could be someone who was in it and out of it, in it and out of it. And you just never set boundaries. Every single time this person came in, you were open. You, you welcomed them with open heart, with, with open hands, okay? That's why this person didn't really realize that how much of uh, advantage they were taking or how wrong they were being towards you. 
but now um i feel that um your emotions are in check you're super stable right now very grounded and you're not giving something an emotional approach you're being very unemotional about this this time okay and you want what you want and what you want is stability security and commitment is what you want okay and that's why this person is manifesting this or you could be manifesting this and guess what you have a brand new beginning okay you have a brand new beginning this could be with this person or this could be without this person but i'm feeling that this person is coming in and they're taking action and you're getting a brand new beginning in love is what i'm getting you're ready to take this risk they're ready to take this risk okay someone wants to take a leap of faith this is someone who does not have the fear of unknown anymore again i'm getting someone who had the fear of commitment in the past they they're not worried about this anymore okay they're not worried about this anymore they don't have fear of commitment anymore they don't have the fear of unknown anymore okay they want a renewal and um they want to take a chance on you okay um um again this could be someone who's commitment phobic okay so yeah i'm not promising you anything right now but they want to take this chance with you okay they want to see where this goes is for sure but keep, be in mind okay this new beginning in love is not going to happen till you're not till, till they're not going to come in with that clarity you want clarity that's on your mind but is this person going to be ready are you going to be able to break this person and get this person to clear the air is the question all right okay scorpio i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below i'd love to hear from you like 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 subscribe and that'll be super cool and i'll see you next time bye bye